What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you step by step on how to draw Dark Sonic. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the nose. We're gonna start right in the middle at the very top and draw an oval. Coming down and then back up. Let's draw a small circle along the top for a highlight. And we'll fill the bottom of the nose in black. Let's go to the side of the nose and draw the top edge of the muzzle. Starting over on the left, then it's out, and then down. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now we're gonna tuck the side of the cheeks in behind. So we're gonna step up, go straight across, and up toward the top of the cheeks. Let's round up the cheek, and then pull that back in. Let's close off the bottom of the chin. Starting back over on the left, come down the middle, and then bend it up towards the right. Now you wanna shift the mouth over towards the right side. So we're gonna start right in the middle, bend this out, and then up, step up, cut the bottom of the mouth, coming down, and I'm just gonna tuck that up underneath. Now inside the mouth, we're gonna draw some jagged lines, going up and down, and work our way across. Let's go to the top of the nose in the center, split the brow with a straight line going up. Now on the left side of the nose, we're gonna curve the brow going out and up. And from here, it's gonna curl the brow, going back up toward the side, and then bend that down. Let's tuck the side of the eye in underneath the brow. On the left, we're gonna step in, curve it around, and just bend that in on top of the cheeks. Let's enhance the brow with two curves. Leave a gap in the center, and start over on the left, bend this up, out, go to the right, and do the same thing. Now lining up with the outside of the eye, I'm going to step up and curve the ear. Going around, then up toward the top. Line this up on the right, going around, and then back in. Let's curve the ear, coming back in, and then down on top of the head. Now you want to trace the ears along the inside. Starting along the side. And we'll close off the bottom with a curve going up and in. Now I want to draw that large spike in the center of the head. Let's go all the way up toward the top of our page. Start with a point. I'm going to bend this out and then down on top of the left ear. Go back up to the top, go out, and then down towards the right ear. Now from that same point, let's add two more spikes. Start on the left, then it's out, and then up. And then from here, we're gonna curve this around and then in towards the side of the eye. Come around, come down, and then just bend that in. Go to the side of the cheeks, add a fold, going out and up with a short line. Now I'm gonna add one more spike on the side of the head. Just line it with the top of the eye, then it's out and then up. I'm gonna round this out and just pull that in just underneath the cheeks. Come around, come down, and then just bend that in. Now we're going to move down and draw on the side of the body. Let's move over towards the left side, bend the body, go out and down toward the left hip. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right hip. Let's draw an oval in the center of the body, just underneath the chin, all the way around, and then back up. Now underneath that oval, let's step down and add a curve. Go up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curve this out and down towards the left ankle, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right ankle. I'm going to round out the bottom of the leg, curve 
it down, back up on the outside. And go back up to the hips and just bend the leg, going out and then down. Now from here, we're going to wrap the cuff around the ankles. On the outside, we're going to step up, bend this around in like a bracket. And do the same thing on the right. And we'll fold the rest of the cuff underneath, stepping out, come all the way around toward the bottom, and just tuck that up on the inside. Now let's go to the inside of the cuff, curl the heel coming out and down towards the bottom. Now you want to round up the bottom of the feet. Start with the left heel, bend the foot coming down and then out. And from the toe, curl the foot going up and we'll bend that in towards the outside of the cuff. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We we'll take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. And now we're going to add that thick stripe across the top of the shoe. Start from the outside, bend this in, and then down. And I'm going to move out and draw that same curve. Now let's go back up to the top and draw the arm stretched out towards the side. Let's we'll start from the top of the body on the left, put the arm coming down, and then out towards the wrist, go to the right, and do the same thing. I'm going to push the hands forward, so we're going to draw the edge of the cuff, curving in, and then down. And then from here, we're just going to follow that same curve, coming back up underneath the body. Now from the outside of the wrist, curve this around and in, almost like a bracket. And then we'll add that fold. We step in, curve around and out towards the edge of the palm. Now you want to connect those two points with a curve, coming in and then down. Let's go to the top of the cuff and wrap around the thumb. We'll go up, come down, just round up the thumb, and just bend that back up. Now from here we're going to go down towards the bottom of the cuff. We want to curl around the bottom finger. Come down, just bend that up and in towards the thumb. Now on the inside of the thumb, we curl around the finger and go back out. Is that a small fold with a short curve along the bottom? Now we stack two more fingers along the top. We start from the side, curve around, and just tuck that in behind the thumb. And we'll do that one more time. From the top, go all the way around and then back in. Let's add the tail coming out from the left side, from the hip, and this up. And now I'm going to surround the hand with a smoke effect. Let's start from the wrist, I'm just going to curve around the hand, and just bend that up along the outside. Let's go back to the left side, and we'll bend that out, and back in. Pull this around and go back out. Now from here, it's going to work our way in toward the inside of the arm, bend this around, and then up. And we'll just bring that back down on top of the arms. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's a cartoon illustration of Dark Sonic. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.